guys, it's Kara. I hope my brain is functioning correctly enough to do a organic cup review because that's what I'm going to do, but it is really early in the morning before class or anything. Um, I have had this cup for I think over a year and I apologize to the organic cup company, but I just got overwhelmed with the amount of cups that I had and I didn't realize how much time it would take to get a review out for each cup because if it's not a shape or type that you're familiar with, you have to wear it for long. Well, personally, I like to wear the cups that I like along with trying out new cups because if I'm just trying out new cups, I'm never sure or I'm never 100% sure if the cup is going to work out or not. So anyway, uh, this is the organic cup. It comes with an organic cotton pouch. Um, no problems with the pouch or anything. It's just normal pouch. It's a little bit small though. Um, with the stem, the stem stuck out of the pouch. Uh, I would say it's about the size of pouch as the ones that I sell in my Etsy shop. Um, the stem was kind of like the Sabelle stem. It looked like this. Uh, just with all these little, I don't know, they kind of look like saucers or something on there. They're flat. It's not just a bump. It sticks out quite a bit. Um, and they kind of bend back in order to grip them, but they're very, very grippy. The stem is also slightly stretchy, though I would not worry about it breaking or anything because it's very also sturdy. Show you what it looked like on the cup if I can get it lined up here. There you go. Um, I also have the smaller size as usual with my cups. This is my stem container, the Yuki sterilizing thing. Just put it back in there so I don't lose it. So some features on the cup. It only has two rip grip rings on the cup itself and the cup squishes almost completely flat at the end, which as you may have heard me mention in the IUD with a menstrual cup video, um, it's not the greatest for if you have an IUD, especially a newly inserted IUD, just because the string can go straight down into there and then when you pinch the bottom of the cup, you pinch the string and you don't know it and then you pull it out. Um, it says organic. Right there, you can barely see it. Sorry, my lighting sucks. There are four suction release holes, and they are special. They are huge. <laughs> Do not go upside down with these suction release holes because blood is still thin enough to go through them. When you go upside down, all the air goes to the top of the cup. And when you go back, all the air goes to the top and tries to come out. Just, I guess it's just because the blood and air has been stirred up and it likes to kind of squirt out. And I've had it before. Um, the first time I wore this cup, actually, I was doing yoga. And I think I was just doing a downward dog, which is not really that upside down. But I went back to normal and I soaked completely through my liner just from it coming out the holes of the cup. Um, which was not fun. Um, and I've, I've been kind of scared of this cup ever since just because it's easy to just put in a cup and forget about it. And you don't have to think about it. You don't have to keep checking your liner or changing your liner or whatever. Um, but recently I had retried this cup. Um, I think two periods ago. I just finished a cycle now, so yeah, two periods. And I really liked it. I was <laughs> upright the whole time. Uh, and it worked just fine, just like any other cup. Um, I guess one more interesting thing about the suction release holes, they are kind of tilted in towards each other. These two next to each other are facing each other, and so are these. But then there's just this kind of space where the seams are, but there's no suction release hole. There are also some measuring lines, though they are unmarked. You can see that just faintly. Um, I'm going to guess it's 7.5 and, and 15 milliliters. That's what it looks like. Um, it's very soft at the base of the cup. And right here on this bump, it's not even a second rim. It's so subtle. It's just where the silicone gets a little bit thicker, and it's pretty firm up here. I do have a very soft cup that I could compare it to. I'm going to be reviewing this cup, uh, maybe in my next video, maybe two videos from now. This is the uh, cup lee size, it's the larger size. I have both the small and the large to put in the review. 
Um, it's a very soft cup. It's not the softest cup that I own, but it's it's pretty far down on the softness spectrum. So as you can see, the Organi cup is quite a bit firmer. Let's see if I can get them lined up here. Yep, it only squishes about halfway before the uh, coupley is squished completely. Sorry, I have another video uploading on my other channel, and it just went blah, 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 done. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll keep going here. The top of the cup, kind of the seams that are along the top there, they are very well finished. Um, I have no idea about prices, I just realized, on this cup. You will have to look that up on your own. I know it is a smaller business, though, so the prices could be more expensive or cheaper, just depending on what the company is like. The seams along the side, though, are very visible. Um, they don't look unfinished, and they almost look like they're meant to look, they're meant to be there. Like, the company intended for them to be there because they're nicely finished, but they are very visible. Um, but I have had this cup for quite a while and had no issues with seams. I know there have been quite a few, not really publishments, but people talking about um, having a cup for long enough that it split open and it wasn't as long as the company said it was supposed to last and I don't really know what to say about that. I'll probably make a video about it at some point. But for now, that I was all that I have for you for the Organic Cup. I am not a huge fan of this cup just because of the few accidents I have had with it. It wasn't just that one time from going upside down. It's happened probably two or three times and that's why I was so afraid to try it again. But it does work great. If you're not going to be upside down, I would really consider this cup. I will see you next video.